when you got your machine, you should have got this little booklet with it. It is a quick start guide. I know it's not easy to follow, <laughs> but I did figure that it's probably a good idea to start back here. Um, it does have information in it that will help you. And today I'm going to do some demonstrations using your, um, well, actually I won't do this one, but this is your plastic blade. So it actually just mixes, okay? You would use this for dough or stirring, anything that doesn't require chopping because clearly it's not a sharp blade, okay? It's a plastic blade just for mixing, really. Um, I'm going to do a demonstration of chopping using the chopping blade <clears throat> and also the um, slicing and the grating. Okay, so um, it'll be these items that will be used for the uh, those the la the latter two. <clears throat> so um, if you have this booklet, I would strongly suggest that you grab it out and you have a read of it because it shows you all of the attachments. It shows you the, the technical name for each of the attachments. And then as you turn over, it shows you all about the display and it tells you all about the quick menu functions. So it tells you exactly how long each of those functions goes for, which, you know, when you turn the machine on, if you, if you were to select, say, the steam function, it's going to show on the screen that it's 25 minutes at 100 degrees or whatever it is. But this just gives you a little bit more information. So you can have a look and go, okay, well, I'm going to make something. I want to saute it. What do I do? So if we go to saute here, it says that there's two phases for saute. The first phase is two minutes. It'll be at 120 degrees on level one. And you would use your stirring spoon and measuring cup. Now, this is your stirrer, okay, what they class as a stirring spoon. Um, and then the machine after two minutes will go to a 10 minute phase of 100 degrees at level one. And it tells you that the device will go on phase one and then it'll beep and then it will start phase two. So it just gives you a little bit of information how that quick menu actually works. So I would highly recommend that you pull this out and you read it. Um, <clears throat> and over the page, it does the same thing. So it goes through the remainder of the functions, including the clean function. And the next page is operation. So it actually shows you what you need for each particular step. So it shows you for stirring and grinding, you would use this sharp blade and it shows you for dough kneading, stir frying and stirring you would need the plastic blade and it shows you for chopping, slicing and shredding you would need this attachment along with the other few that I have which is the shaft there and the lid. So it actually shows you that in here so if you were thinking oh, I've got to do something and I don't know which what I should use Use this as a guide. The next page, it goes through how to pop it in, how to put everything together. So how to put the blade in, how to put the jug in, take it out, put the lid on, all that kind of stuff. And um, it also shows you, um, this is, oh, it doesn't have a page number, but it shows you a food processing guide. So in that guide, it shows you what blade you would need for each particular item. So starting off, so um, it shows you the sharp blade and it says that if you're gonna chop an onion, you would need uh, five times one second. So clearly this is just, you know, five seconds. Um, this is saying 500 grams of onions um, at speed 10. So look, um, as, as most of you would be aware, if you um, have seen some of my videos, um, I personally haven't gone by this. I haven't really looked at it a great deal. I've just tried my own thing because that's just my personality. I'm, I'm happy to try things. Um, I've done some videos where I've done some chopping and you can go back to YouTube on thermo blending and have a look. But I'm going to cover this off today as well. So I've got an onion here that I'm going to do a few different things to. 
just to give you an idea. But remember that this booklet is here. It's really helpful in that respect. So something like turmeric, speed five, celery, speed 10, <clears throat> excuse me, nuts, speed 10, ice, speed 10, um, a carrot, speed four. Oh, sorry. So, so going on to the, using the, the grating blade, a carrot would be a speed four, nutmeg four, potato four. Now I use a higher speed, but clearly it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you get it sliced. So this is saying a four. So, you know, if you try what it says and it doesn't work for you, then just alter what you are doing. Um, and then it does have some troubleshooting at the back if you need, but I really find those first couple of pages you know helpful as far as you know if you just want basics okay so I would highly recommend that you pull it out have a little look at it and just have a try if you've if you've got you know 10 minutes one day just grab an onion or something that you know you can use later on and just try it if it says to chop an onion on speed 10 for 30 seconds give it a crack so that's what, what I'm going to do in a second. It'll be a separate video, um, I think. Maybe I'll do it now. Should I do it now? Yeah, let's do it now. All right. So I'm just going to move these bits and pieces out of the way. And I'm hoping that I can do this without too much muscle. All right. So I'm going to try to pull you over here. And we are going to look at the machine and I will pop this here. All right. Okie dokie. So we have no blade in at the moment. Okay. No blade. I'm going to chop the onion first. So I'm going to put the chopping blade in. Oops. There we go, it's sitting in there. Clip it in. Got to clip it in before it works. Now um, we've got our lid and we've got our measuring cup. So I'm going to lock that measuring cup in so that the onion doesn't go flying everywhere. And I've just got um, half an onion. Okay, I'm going to pop it in and I'm going to put the lid on. And then we're going to chop away. So now the booklet said speed 10 for five seconds. So what we'll do is we'll go to speed and you'll see the zeros are flashing. I'm going to crank that up to speed 10 and I'm going to start it. And I'm just going to count five seconds. it doesn't even need five seconds you could put five seconds up here if you wanted um, but I just think that's one step that I don't need and that is your onion chopped okay super simple chuck it in um, and it's done now what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna clean that out because I just to save time now I am going to uh, grate some onion. So we want to make sure that the grating blade is in and you've got the ridges up so that you can grate. And um, so pop that on top of the shaft. You want to pop your lid on so that you can feed the onion through the chute. And you want to make sure that you've got your other measuring cup sort of guard. Now, I'm actually going to cut this last little bit of onion in half because I want to do something else as well. So, all you're going to do is put your peeled onion, mine isn't, but I'm not going to reuse it, put your guard down. And for grating, we're going to do a little bit of a lesser speed. So, uh, we're going to go to speed. And I think we'll do just six. Okay and um, well, between four and six. 
So then I'm just going to press start and it will just be a couple of seconds. And that is it. We're grated. Okay. So now that's, it has left a little bit there, but that's not um, abnormal. And you can see the slight bit of grated in the, oh, sorry, in the, um, no, that's actually just bits of, because it was such a small piece. So um, I can see that there's a few little grated bits in there. Maybe I should have tipped that out first. Um, but, and then if you want to slice, you turn your blade over so that you've got your slicing blade um, up top. It does help if your pieces are a bit larger than this. I'm just trying not to waste any more food. Uh, I don't know how well this will actually slice, but you get the you get the gist, right? So that's your options. So you are slicing, chopping, or you're grating, and you know it's it is a really really simple process. You can do multiple um, of these one after the other. So say for instance, you are creating a dish where you need to uh, chop some garlic. So you're gonna chop the garlic, um, chop the garlic and onion, and you'll put your sharp blade in, you'll chop it. Then you might need to grate some carrot. So you'll take your chopping blade out. You'll just move all the, any food away from that. It gets a little bit harder if it's a moist, like a sauce or something. But um, in general, if you just move the food away from around the, um, the base, you'll just change that then. So then you'll put your shaft in, you'll put your grating attachment in, and then you'll grate your stuff in. And then if you need to saute, you can take that blade out, you can put your stirring blade in, and you can finish your recipe. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, it's, it's not hard, but I understand that Kogan has not done very well with instructions. So if there's anything that you want me to do a video on, on how to use or, you know, something like that, uh, let me know. I'm more than happy to, uh, if I don't already know, figure it out and, um, and do a little demo for you. But I definitely recommend that you use this as a guide. Um... And, you know, check out the videos on YouTube, um, subscribe and like it. That way, whenever I make a new video, uh, you'll get a notification. Um, so, yeah, I look forward to hearing from you.